everybody, I am Net Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something very specific. <laughs> we're going to be talking about the normal hematological changes that occur during pregnancy. So let's get into it. The first change is going to be seen in our red blood cells. So when you are not pregnant, normally for a woman, your red blood cell count is 4.2 to 5.4 million. And then when you become pregnant, it's 5 to 6.25 million. That is about a 40 to 45% increase in red blood cell volume. Why? Why would our body do this? Think about it. It's thinking ahead. When you give birth, even a normal, uncomplicated, fabulous delivery, vaginal delivery, you might lose up to 500 mLs of blood with that delivery. And your body knows that. So it's preparing. It's giving you extra blood, right, um, to prepare you to lose a lot of blood. And also you need that blood to supply to the baby and the placenta and all of your growing organs and your uterus and all that kind of stuff um, to maintain a healthy pregnancy. But it's also thinking about the future for when you lose a lot of blood. So this has increased. Our red blood cells will increase. Because our red blood cells have increased and we have more volume, our hemoglobin and our hematocrit naturally will decrease. If you remember, hemoglobin is the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood, and the hematocrit is the percent of blood, uh, total blood volume that is red blood cells. So it would make sense that if our number of red blood cells increases, that our hemoglobin and hematocrit would naturally decrease. This is really important because pregnant women are often uh, screened for anemia. So when you're not pregnant, your hemoglobin is going to be 12 to 16 grams per deciliter. And then when you become pregnant, it's going to lower. So anything above 11 grams per deciliter. And your hematocrit, same thing. When you're not pregnant, 37% to 47%. And then when you become pregnant, we're happy if we're above 33. So these are things we're going to check multiple times in pregnancy during prenatal visits. We're going to check this stuff upon admission when you're ready to give birth. And then you're also going to have this checked after delivery because we want to compare these numbers, your baseline numbers, to the numbers after delivery to make sure that the patient didn't lose too much blood or an excess amount of blood during delivery. Some other things we also want to check are our white blood cell count. So you'll see this has also increased. When we're not pregnant, our white blood cell count is roughly 5,000 to 10,000. And when we become pregnant, it can go as high as 15,000, and that's still considered normal. And why is that? So your white blood cell count is um, kind of an immune response, right? So when we have an infection, what happens? Our white blood cells go up. That makes sense. Um, but we're not infected with the baby. The baby is not an infection. What the baby is, it's stress on our body. It's a lot of work for our body. It's like exercise for our body, right? So the act of being pregnant and maintaining a healthy pregnancy is a lot of work for our bodies. It's a lot of stress on our bodies. And when our bodies are under stress, it is natural for our white blood cells to increase. And then after delivery, the stress of labor and delivery and the intensity, and you know, it's like a, having like a really hardcore workout having a baby, right? That's why they call it labor, because it's work. It is totally normal for our white blood cell count to increase even further after delivery. And the last thing I wanted to point out is our plasma volume will increase, and look how much it's going to increase, by 50%. If you think about that, that's crazy, right? Our plasma volume is going to increase, our red blood cell count is going to increase, our white blood cell count is going to increase, and then the things that decrease are hemoglobin and our hematocrit. So that was just a quick little one, kind of reviewing the hematological changes in pregnancy. Remember, these are normal. This happens to most people and it's okay. The body is preparing itself. So if you have any questions or any comments, please let me know. If not, I'll see you on the next one.